and Scribes Creative Workshop presents... Happy Land! Featuring Pappy Druid in his house! <laughs> Did you ever want to paint? Did you ever want to draw? Did you ever want to recreate anything at all? Well, now you can in Happy Land. That's where we are today. Where anything can happen. Cause Pappy Druid that way. Happy, Pappy Druid. He do Pappy Land. And you. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Pappy Land. Today's going to be a blast because we're going to have fun that's out of this world. Are you ready for some water, Lily? You bet, Pappy. I'm all fueled up and ready to go. Atta girl. Hey, Pappy, what do you mean by out of this world? I think we might find out right now. Hi, everybody. Well, I got that book you asked for, Pappy. Great, buddy. Look, everyone, it's a book about outer space. That's the place we're going to visit today. We're going to the moon. How soon? Right away. How are we going to get there? Why, in our imaginary spaceship, of course. Hey, Sonny, don't you know what time it is? It's time for our space adventure to begin. Are you ready, Ariel? and jor and you too, Akeem, and Nikki, and Billy, and Emily. I see you too, Zorkan, and I see the rest of my little space pals. Now, would someone like to help us get started? Hey, Pap, let me help. I have a good way to start this adventure. Down scope. Good idea, Elmer. Okay, buddy, you go man the Pappy scope so we can see where we're going. Yes, sir, Captain Pappy. We'll turn this whole cabin into our spaceship. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Are we all ready to use our imagination? Yes, yes sir, Pappy. OK, now let's draw someone who can help us get to outer space. All right, so if you haven't done so yet, get your crayons, paper, and pencils together. And let's draw a space creature. Here we go. Alrighty, I'm going to draw a circle for one eye and get your wrist going round and round like this. There we go, and connect it. Now do the same to the other side. Round and round we go, and where we start right there and bring it around and stop. Good. Now I'm going to draw the space creature's eyelids. I'm going to start right here. And a small curve line, and another small curve line like that. Good. There we go. You see that? Just two small curve lines. Now let's start by drawing the inside of the eye, and that's just a small half circle, and another small half circle, and another one inside that half circle right there, and another one there. Now let's draw the shape of his head. And I'm going to start right here and bring a swooping curve line all the way around and starting back up here and bring it back down and connect it like that. That's right. Now let's draw his ear. One there and the other ear. Good. And let's put some detail here. Small curve line there and another small curve line there. Now let's draw the space creature's collar. And that's just a curved line. Bring it around and stop. Very good. All right, let's draw his nose. And we're going to... Looks like the letter U. Just a small curved line. It looks like the U. All righty. Let's draw another letter U for his mouth. 
that letter seems to be perfect for drawing a mouth, and it's a happy smile. The letter U always looks like a happy smile. And another small one right there. Good. See? Three U's. <laughs> and let's just color that in right there. Fill that in. Now let's put some cheeks on our space creature. And another curved line, which looks like a half a circle, and then another half circle on the other side. There we go. Now he has puffy cheeks. <laughs> okay. Now let's draw the space creature's body, and I'm going to start right here. And bring that around all the way up. Kind of like a circle right below the collar there. And let's draw his belt. There we go, one long curved line. And right here, I'm going to draw an emblem. Just right about here, curve, curve that line up and then connect it. And that's a little space emblem. <laughs> okay, hmm, okay. I'm going to draw one leg there and another line next to it. And that shows one of our space creature's legs, and we're bringing that line around and stop. And let's do the same to the other side. Bring it around. And back down. Very good. Now let's draw our space creature's arm. We'll start right here. And it's merely a curved line. And bring it around and stop. And we're going to do the same, a small curved line. Starting right there, just another small curve. Good. Now let's uh, put some gloves on our space creature. And we'll just, there we go, one finger, and another finger, and another curved line for his fingers. He has three fingers because he's a space creature. <laughs> there, we'll do the same to the other side. One finger, that's his thumb, and now two more fingers, one looping line. And another looping line and connect it. Very good. <laughs> he looks silly. I can't wait to hear what he has to tell us. All right, let's put some detail on our space creature's boots. Curve line right there. And do the same to the other side. Very good. All righty. Let's put some detail on the bottom of the space creature's boots. And... We'll do a series of straight lines, just like that. And another one, and another one. And let's count them. One, two straight lines. Three, four, and five, and six. Good. Hmm. Now let's draw the, or indicate the horizon line. And that's a curved line right behind our space creature, right where he's standing. That's called the horizon line. And another one in between. And starting right here, bring it back around and stop. Good. All righty. Let's finish the top of his boots now. And we're going to draw like the letter V. It looks like the letter V. There. And up. And the same thing here. Down and bring that line up. Very good. Alrighty, we're going to draw some space mountains, and I'm going to start right here. And bring some curved lines up and stagger them. Some are lower and some are higher than the other lines. And those are the peaks of our little space rocks behind our space creature. There we go. Just like so. There, and now we're going to indicate some rocks right below his feet. And I'm going to start right here. And draw... Uh, a space rock there, and a bigger space rock right there, and another one, and another one, and another one right there. There, let's, let's show some dots to show some of that space dust, just like that, just the small little dots. There. Well, now that we've drawn our space creature, let's see if he can help take us to outer space. Hello, Peppy and Buddy. Would you like to visit outer space? We mm, sure, sure would. Huh? In fact, we all would like to go. Oh, 
my computer says that you need fuel for the spaceship engines. What kind of fuel? Super unleaded, high octane, imagination fuel. Where can we get that space creature? Inside yourself. You just close your eyes and imagine. That's easy enough. Come on, boys and girls. Come on, everybody. Let's close our eyes and imagine ourselves on a trip to outer space. Let's count down. Five, Five four, four, three. I think the imagination fuel is working. Two, two one. one. Yeah. Look up, here we go. The moon. It's straight ahead, Captain Pappy. What fun, Mr. Buddy. Hey, Sonny, what's an astronaut's favorite time to eat? I don't know, Elmer. What is an astronaut's favorite time to eat? Launch time, Pap. <laughs> Get it? Launch time. <laughs> it's more beautiful than I ever thought. Melbourne, what are you doing here? Ah! Express mail is one thing, but this light speed delivery is for the birds. Wow! I'm the first paintbrush in space. You know, anyone I call now will really be long distance. Fly me to the moon. Doodlebug, you're here too? That's right. And you have to use your imagination noodle if you want to do my doodle. Okay, doodlebug. Now I know why they call you a bug. Here goes. Okay. What do you see, boys and girls? Hmm. It kind of looks like the side of a fish or an animal or maybe the back of somebody's head. I'm sure a lot of you see a lot of different things. I see something already. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I see something. He'll never get it. There we go. And I'll put a face. Can you see what I'm drawing, boys and girls? Look at that. It's a half moon. <laughs> there you go, Doodlebug. Thought you had me, huh? <laughs> you did it again, Pappy. But I can imagine the day that I do stump you. I can't wait. <laughs> I uh, keep trying, Doodlebug. You never know. <laughs> We're coming in for a landing, Captain Pappy. Hold on. We're here. Come on, buddy. We have some exploring to do. <laughs> wow. Isn't this great, boys and girls? Yeah, the only thing better is if we could sing a song. You're right, buddy. Oh, sing a song. Come in, sing a song. I'm right here, Pappy. Turn left at the red planet just up ahead. Over. Roger that, Sam. We're on our way. Flying by the moon I can go any place Even to outer space I can ride a if I just close my eyes and try to visualize Let your imagination take you anywhere you want to go Your artistic creation will keep getting better And it will show Flying by the moon onto the milky That you can draw Picture any location Out of this world Or one you just saw Planets go gliding by Look at their faces Blazing across the sky Amazing places
Wow! song was out of this world, Sam. You're a star performer. Thanks, Sing a Song. You're welcome, my galactic pals. See you back on the planet Earth. Bye. Happy and buddy, over and out. This trip has been lots of fun, but I think it's time to imagine ourselves back in the cabin in Pappy Land so we can finish coloring the space creature we drew. Let's just Close our eyes and imagine that we're back at the cabin. Back at the cabin. Back at the cabin. Back at the cabin. We're here, boys and girls. That was fun, Pappy. Can we go again? Can we, Pappy? I just love outer space. That's enough space travel for one day, Lily. We have to color the picture we drew. Oh, boy, traveling with your imagination sure does make you sleepy. I'm going back to the hamlet for a good long nap. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye buddy. buddy. So long. <laughs> now, do you have your crayons and your markers ready? Don't worry if you don't have any. You can always color with your imagination. I'm going to begin coloring the space creature. I'm going to use my green crayon. Seems like a fun color. What color did you choose? Good. And you just fill that right in. He's a very comical looking space creature. I think he'd look good purple. Pink, orange, or any color. Very good. All right. And I'll just make sure I covered it all. There we go. And I'll move over to do one of his ears. There. And let's do the other ear. Funny looking ears. <laughs> kind of makes me laugh. There we go. All righty. I thought that only grown ups could go to outer space. Now I know how to travel using my imagination. <laughs> and you can use your imagination anytime you want. Right, Peppy? That's right, Lily. Alright, now I'm going to color in his space suit and I'm choosing a very nice bright purple color. I hope you like it. There we go. How about purple space boots? That would be fun. Let's just color that in. Fill it right in. Trying to stay as loose as I can. Just having a good time. There we go. Sometimes I like to use a circular motion or back and forth or whatever's comfortable for you, it's okay. Very good. Alrighty. Okay. I have an idea. Why don't you try writing a story about the picture when you're finished? 
I'd like to read what you've imagined. Now I'm going to color in one of the space creature's legs here. And I've chosen that bright green again. Whoops, Pappy broke a crayon. But you can use any part of the crayon to color with. So don't worry if one of your crayon, one of your crayons break. Don't worry about it. There we go. Now I'm going to color in his space gloves using a very bright pink color. Look at that. That is a very bright, bright, colorful color. Very, very, very bright. And we'll just continue to fill that right in. Like so. Ooh, how about yellow for his collar? Almost the same color as that green, isn't it? Just slightly different. Very nice. And just fill that right in. And we'll do this little emblem. And the bottom of his boots. Very nice. We'll just fill that right in. And, hmm, how about purple for his eyelids? Fill that in like that, then I'll stop halfway, skip a little spot like that, and continue. And we'll do the same right here. And we'll skip a spot. Good. But you can do it any way you'd like to. And let's see here. I'll use hot pink for his inside of his eyes. Whoops! Another broken crayon, but again, don't worry about it. See, it works. And finally, I think I'll take some yellow and just indicate the color of this planet. And just fill it right in. Don't worry if you go outside the lines, just have fun, be bold, and have all kinds of fun with coloring, yes. When you finish your picture, you can give it a title if you want or call it something that helps tell a story and include it when you send in your drawing to the Hall of Frames. Uh, here's my colored space creature. Can I see yours? Wow, they look great. All this coloring makes me think about the Hall of Frames. Me too, Elmer. To the Hall of Frames we go. Wow, I see signs of imagination all around us. You're all stars in your own way. Look how bright and colorful these drawings are. I love to get your drawings. If you'd like to send one to me, watch for the address at the end of the program and be sure to include your name, address, and age with your picture. Hey, Sonny, don't you know what time it is? Oops. Yikes. What? It's quarter to orange already. I can't imagine how the time went so quickly. And thank you for sharing my imaginary space adventure with me. And remember, there's no limitation to your imagination. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, Bye Pappy. Bye, Pappy. Did you ever want a paint? Did you ever want a doll? Did you ever want to be Wait a minute. Hey, good. Do you still have
have a pencil or a paper handy? Because I'd like to do a doodle line with you. What's a doodle line? Well, that's where I draw a doodle or a shape or a line, and you turn it into something like a picture. It's fun to do after the show. Are you ready? All right. Let me rub my nose. Here goes. Up, down, across. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. All right, you try it. Take your time, use your imagination, and have fun. Doodle bud. Well, I oops. Uh, yep, it's a little late now. I guess I better go. Bye. Did you ever want Send your drawings to me, Pappy Druitt, P.O. Box 5004, Syracuse, New York, 13220.